Good morning, traders. I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures. It's Friday, November 22nd. We're here to talk to you about the grain markets. Okay, first chart of corn here we'll put in front of you. The one positive for corn is the strong basis, the strong demand from the ethanol plants around our country. Um, other than that, uh, we need to see export sales pick up now. Uh, Brazil shipped 2.5 million metric tons of corn in the month of November so far. So this is twice the amount of a year ago. So Brazil's running out of corn. And uh, this is interesting. If this were to continue, Brazil would overtake USA as the biggest corn exporter in the world today. 15 years ago, Brazil was an importer of corn. So as we watch these trade flows in agriculture and certainly uh, President Trump's tariff policies, making South American agriculture great here at the expense of USA. We have had two days now of uh, um, export sales announcements to unknown destination. So like I mentioned, Brazil's running out of corn and if the world is in business here in the month of December, uh, certainly we have U.S. corn to sell to the world. So perhaps exports are gonna pick up in the next 20, 30, 40 days into the end of the year. Uh, okay, the soybean market here, you can see we're supposed to get leadership out of soybean this time of the year, and we're not. Um, you can see four days of lower highs and lower lows. It's in the pretty good support. Uh, the China USA now uh, this week, and you know, price discovery is a good indicator of these Ch China USA trade talks. And uh, you know, the Senate passed the bill for the uh, uh, support the protesters over in Hong Kong. Well, China didn't like that this week. And so the next date is December 15th, and we'll wait for the next tweet here and see if we can't get phase one signed and, and move forward. It would help both countries. Both countries would be winners here. Um, so uh, that being said, uh, the wheat market here, you can see a different chart than corn, so a little bit of support here. A lot of times Minneapolis wheat, the spring wheat, is the pasta of the world that the world wants. And a lot of times that show leadership and it's not, it's been trending lower. So maybe we can support corn here in the days and weeks ahead. So, you know, I spend a lot of time thinking about what these markets are gonna do in, in the weeks and months and years ahead. And, you know, with Asian swine flu and, and uh, USA China trade tariffs going back and forth, you know, I don't think anybody knows the outcome of what lies ahead. And that creates a lot of opportunity. Um, next Thursday is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of us from RJO Futures. Uh, we're closed Thursday and then the grain markets will reopen Friday morning, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Let's all have an excellent weekend.